To get people to really want to buy your product, you must focus on these. Every business wants to have a unique selling proposition, USP, a reason why customers should buy from you instead of from your competitors. When you discover this USP, you'll be able to position your business in a strategic position that allows your customers and potential customers come to you whenever they need your product. So, how do you create a good USP to get people to buy your product instead of that of your competitors? In this video, I'll share with you three things you need to focus on to get people to want to buy your product. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Find out which feature of your product differentiates you from the others. The first and most important thing when it comes to selling is that you need to figure out your product or service best feature and spotlight that feature. After all, the reason you decided to start the business in the first place was to meet a need in a particular sector and to also make something that will offer a better or an additional benefit to whatever was in the market before that time. According to Robert Caldini, the author of pre a revolutionary way to influence and persuade, he said, and I quote, Drawing attention to the favored feature is effective not only in getting audiences to consider it fully, but also in getting them to lend the feature exaggerated significance. However, in spotlighting the best feature of your product, be careful not to fall into the trap that most young entrepreneurs do. For instance, say you are an ice cream manufacturer. When asked why anyone should purchase ice cream from you instead of your competitor, given a generic answer like, we taste better, will only push customers off because even if you taste better, you haven't described what differentiates the taste of your ice cream from others. So you can answer like this. With ABC ice cream, you enjoy a long-lasting creamy taste. This will get customers to try it out and, well, if your product impresses them, they will come back. But in the case of a generic USP, they wouldn't even be tempted to try out in the first place. You see, the truth is that no business is superior to the other. For instance, let's say I ask you, which is better, sandwich or toast? Well, in actual sense, no one is better. You just prefer one over the other. And the fact that you do doesn't automatically make that one better. Do you see where we're going? Avoid using generic USPs like, we have better standards. We provide with the best appliances in the world and so on. All you need to do is to highlight the best feature of your product and that's it. Two, narrow your target audience so that you can focus only on a specific difference. Mr. Pete is a business consultant for software engineers, while Mr. James is a business consultant for entrepreneurs. Say you have a friend, Mike, who is a software engineer and needs some professional business tips to grow his business. Which of both business consultants will you suggest to Mike if you had to decide or make a pick for him? We all know we will suggest Mr. Pete because we believe that he will be well informed about technological innovations, markets and other technicalities that Mr. James might not be aware of. Why? Because unlike Mr. James, Mr. Pete specializes in consulting for software engineers. If you want people to buy your product, you have to focus on marketing it to the right set of people by identifying who these people are so that you can strategically place your product or service in an easy to spot location, either online or offline. 3. Proper Branding Branding approach is one factor a lot of people jump into without first figuring out what their product or service unique feature is. Neither do they find out their target audience. Branding comes in different ways and all forms of strategy can be used to advertise. However, branding can be expensive and most startups in a B to cut cost end up messing it up. If not done properly, branding includes telling the story of your brand in a very short and concise manner that differentiates you from your competitors, highlighting your unique features or feature. The misconception about branding is that branding is all about making your business look attractive so that people want to patronize you because they perceive you to be a big brand. But you see, branding goes beyond a good logo. 
good visual images of your products and the likes. Good branding should offer your customers or potential customers a top-notch proposition that they do not want to miss out on. For instance, why does everyone want to wear designer clothing, shoes, bags, accessories and the likes even though they are pricey? It's called top-notch branding. And because of the fear of missing out on an item, people will rush to purchase a new item from these high-end brands regardless of the cost. Also, don't promote the long-term benefit of your brand, otherwise it will make it easy for customers to delay purchase. Instead, emphasize that they cannot afford to wait any longer. In branding and marketing, ensure that your ad effectively points out these three things. 1. Is your marketing strategy making a proposition to your customers? 2. Is your proposition unique to your brand only? Three. Is your proposition strong enough to attract your customers? Summary To get anyone to buy your product, you have to first of all recognize the uniqueness of your product and highlight that singular feature more than anything else. Narrow your niche Recognize and identify your target audience. You don't have to sell to everyone. You can make something for kids alone or ladies alone or guys alone. Know who you are dealing with and focus your energy on them. Brand and market your product properly. If you aren't familiar with the subject of branding, find a way to know more about it. Read books, take courses, or you can seek knowledge and advice from other successful entrepreneurs. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.